What is up, my legends? My name is VTR, and welcome back to another movie review. And today we are reviewing Straight Out of Nowhere Scooby Doo Meets Courage the Cowardly Dog. That is a long title, but I am excited as heck to review this movie because this is one I was actually really, uh, when I was going through the, looking at the uh, Scooby Doo movies that I still had to review, this was one of them, and I was like, oh, because like Scooby Doo is so used to its crossovers and everything. And, um, yeah, let's go ahead and read the synopsis first, real quick. Scooby-Doo and the gang find themselves in the middle of nowhere, Kansas, in the backwood hometown of Courage and his owners, Muriel and Eustace Bag. That's really all you need. That's really all you need. Um, if you are a fan of Scooby-Doo, obviously you're going to still get the Scooby-Doo antics that you like, but added with the, the antics of Courage, which I really think did a really good job. They implemented a bunch of the music from Courage the Cowley Dog, characters, and all that, which is a lot of fun. And surprisingly, the animation styles at points look a little odd next to each other with the Scooby Gang and Courage. Uh, but then there are times when it blends really, really well. Uh, and I think overall, this movie is done in such a fun way. It's nothing groundbreaking, but I think it's one of the more fun Scooby-Doo crossovers. Because, uh, one, these two dogs have... It's not the first time they've been together on screen. There was, like, these bumpers that were... Um, and they're still, some of them are still lost media. Uh, but, I, but, but in terms of, like, a fully adventure, a full fledged adventure with these characters, and it, it was really fun. And Courage... Coming back uh, after all these years was such a cool thing. Because uh, Courage is, I know Courage is voiced by his original actor. I know Eustace isn't. Uh, I don't know about Muriel. Um, but overall, I think, like, Scooby and Courage together, like, in the movie is a lot of fun seeing them. And then, like, like there's a big chunk of the movie at the end where, like, we're just letting Courage shine. Which I think is a good was a good idea on the filmmakers' part. Um, there is one thing I really didn't like for some reason out of nowhere. I did not mean to make that pun. Uh, Eustace has a rap. Oh, straight out of you know, saying, straight out of nowhere, like, and it's definitely trying to be like I think it's straight out of Compton type thing, and it's. It's cringe. Like I'm like literally like sitting there watching this movie thinking Oh no, please no, please no, please no, please no. And it's just one of those things where I'm just like, do we really need this? Do we really need this scene? And you could have cut it out and missed nothing. Like, straight up. But, another thing, the movie's funny! Um, Muriel's, like, kind of, like, confusing what the Mystery Inc. is, calling them riddle solvers and stuff that the movie is, uh, kind of fun. Um, I would have thought, it's, it's kind of funny seeing uh, Courage do, like, his, like, little, like, try to tell everyone what's going on with his little shape-shifting, like, animation and everything that and doing it to scooby and shaggy is kind of interesting I was like skewing scooby like what is it courage like that's kind of like i was like oh that, that's that's neat that's neat that's neat that that that's neat i i um i thought that was pretty pretty darn neat how they handled that overall though i think this is just a fun they're they're the mystery is kind of barely there. Um, it's kind of just an excuse to like bring in some uh, characters from uh, um, Courage at the end, and it's. But like, there's this cool fight scene at the end. Like, I never thought I would say that, but it's, it's really cool with um, with a uh, Courage fighting a giant cicada, which is. Kind of fun and kind of cool, I'd say. Uh, there's a really good joke at the start of the movie too, where like there's the, they're solving a mystery, they just solved a mystery of this 
killer clown that killer clown but this is clown that was stealing uh money obviously and like they literally like they have to go catch scooby because he ran off and like the dude just like just like walks away with the money is like like i'm like can you just call the cops first before you left but like i think it was fun and it was like i said it's really cool to see this world and these characters again like that's that was my favorite part of it we had seen the courage characters again uh and putting them alongside the scooby-doo characters was a lot of fun we even get the computer in here and everything and i was like that's one of my, always one of my favorite things in courage um and something i was really scared of is that this with scooby-doo because scooby-doo movies especially like one like return to zombie island uh and stuff like that those movies really like ruined like the like oh that that, that it wasn't actually real um um but they didn't do that here which i'm i'm glad i'm glad they didn't do that here um i think that i think um um some of the gangs not really got much to do like uh daphne's kind of sidelined here but she kind of had some more to do in the last movie, though. Um, um, Fred's whole thing is like, my decals on my, uh, on the Mr. Machine, just put fresh ones. It, doesn't keep, it brings it up like three times, I think. Um, the pairing of Scooby, Shaggy, Courage, and Eustace in like one scene is like surprisingly fun. And everything, and there's even some cameos from characters that you don't expect to see. And I'm like, there's like, there's a scene where they're like in a museum, basically a museum to this franchise, where there are so many references uh, to a whole bunch of other things in, the, in the, uh, in the, from the like. I remember one thing I pointed out specifically to me. I remember the tree with the mouth, the realistic mouth, or whatever. That was uh, a, there was a picture of that. There was the slab from the. Return the slab. Uh, also the 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 big white mask, uh, like the thing that was uh that was there, uh that was when I remembered uh uh the razor from the uh one episode with the yeah that was like naughty like that that episode like that so much references in this that but i don't feel like i take you out of it it's like they're there like it's not like they're picking it up and like oh courage you remember when this happened or there's not anything like that it's not like that it's just like hey that's there move on um uh on rotten tomatoes there are no critic reviews uh so we just have the audience which is 66 um which i think is fine there's nothing groundbreaking here, but if you're a fan of both of these franchises, uh, I feel like you're going to have a fantastic time um, with this. I think it's overall just done to an enjoyable degree. I think um, I think they do a really darn good job with these characters and everything, and I just think it's overall just a fun time. I think seeing these characters together in a movie is definitely something. Uh, I really hope that this would be like a, maybe a backdoor to bring uh, courage back. Who knows? Maybe it is. This only came out like two years ago, so who knows? Maybe it will. Um, but um, what is my rating on the movie? I don't know, actually. I want to be nice to it. So I'm, I, so I'm going to go, I'm just going to be nine and say it's a three out of five. So I enjoy. And also, I guess the rating, uh, I rate the movies differently. Uh, and I mean, the numbers mean different things depending on the movie, I guess. I don't know. Um, um, but, um, but yeah, I think this is a fun time. Uh, that just leaves us with one more Scooby-Doo movie. There hasn't been another one released, I think. Don't quote me on that. Um, since the one that I've looked... But we'll see if there's another... Uh, 
But of my know, there's one more left. If not, there's maybe two, but I'm pretty sure there's just one. Uh, but that's all I got to say for this review, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!